dun, 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 dun. We gotta hurry up, so let me hurry up. Ah! 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 Perfect. What's popping, YouTube? So we got Quan Run on Angela Yee, you know what I'm saying? The interview part two. I knew it was gonna drop today. That's why I waited to drop part one to the day. You feel me? But we got Quan Run on Angela Yee, you know what I'm saying? Interview part two. Yo, go check out the vlog, you know what I'm saying? It's a oh crap, I'm pointing the wrong way. Vlog right here, you know what I'm saying? Go check out this vlog, bro. I'm trying to tell you. This is hilarious, it's fire. You know what I'm saying? Go check out the vlog for real, you feel me? But for Quando Rondo, interview part two, you feel me? Uh the last one he kinda explained most of it, you know what I'm saying? But I think now he's about to really get in depth with it on the second one. So let's get straight into it. They already tried to give me a copyright on the last. Yo, another thing. If you see me pausing a lot, it's only because of the copyright, bro. Not because I want to. It's only because of copyright. It's like I had an out of body experience. You feel me? As soon as I got hit, like, like, man. Dummy, this man said another. Yo, imagine somebody hitting you that hard. You got an outer body experience. Like, yo, I would just be thinking about how I'm going to smoke him when I wake up. Because, dummy. Yo, you know what that mean, bro? That's like that's like when you like you ever seen people that get on like really hard drugs, and like they be like, yeah, I could see myself, like I was standing, looking at myself, laying down, like that's basically what he was saying, bro. Like, imagine that happening, bro. Like I'm gonna smoke you. Like, you gotta go. I put this on my dead, on my Terry Gray, man. I'm like, man, I swear to God, on everything I love, man. I'm like, oh, you put it on this grandma, but that's how you know he ain't lying. Put it on your grandma. Yeah, this one person ain't gonna just put anything on your grandma. Oh nah. But I think about this shit every day, like, mm. nobody know, like, what I went through, like, somebody else would have panicked. Dumb. Yo, I saw a lot of people in the shade room, because I wanted to go look at that one, once I did reacting to the what's name. I saw a lot of people in the shade room comments on, like, the preview that they had posted. Talking about, oh, yeah, he probably just lying. I, 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 don't, I don't think he lying, bro. That's not something you just make up. Outer body experience, you can't just make that up. Man, it's like... Man, it's like, I don't know, like, like, it's like the devil was coming to get me, like. Dummy almost died? Basically what he's saying, right? Dummy almost killed him with that punch. That's what it sounds like now, but he's talking about the, the devil's ready to come get him and all that. Oh, no, nah, he got that. It's like my, like, like my soul, like, I can't even explain it, man. Like, it's like my soul left my body, and I was up in the air. Mm -hmm. Dummy, what the, yo, what? Yo, King Von must have been fucking chewing on weights, not not lifting them. If he hit somebody that hard, that me talking about something he thought he was flying and all that devil and all, like, wait, what? How hard did he get hit? <laughs> and I was just looking down, watching myself, all that, just watching everything going on. Ma'am, I swear to God. He said, ma'am, I swear to God. Yeah, he not lying. He, he's telling the truth. I said, Lord. Please let me make it home. I come from, like, I come from praying people now. I know, like, like, come on, man. No matter what I do in life, nobody too good to be close to God. I don't care how much of a killer you is, how much of a rich person you is, how much of a big dog you is, how much of a stand-up dog you person you is. Like, it don't matter. Anybody could be close to God, and I I pray a lot, even though I do what I do. Like, even though I know I ain't living all the way right, nobody perfect. Man, that's that's, that's, a, that's a that's a crazy realization I have. To know that you're not living right, but you still gotta. I'm saying, make sure that you're close to God. I'm saying, so when, when life is over, you know, I'm saying you got something to look forward to. That's that's a crazy realization because out here, that God will put us on this earth and have us. Go through so much, have us fight through so much, just for just so we can make it to the. I'm saying the afterlife or whatever. And we're supposed to follow in his footsteps and all that extra stuff. When you really think about it, bro, I don't know. It's crazy to think that like you gotta go through all this pain, suffering, all that just to make it to the afterlife. We're supposed to be so perfect, but why? Why even put us through all this when you could just take out the middleman and just straight take us? You know what I'm saying? Or never even bring us here at all. I, I never really understand. It made no sense to me. We human. I still pray to God. I don't, like, I'm like, Lord, please, like, just on some out loud screaming jive, like, out of body experience type jive, like, Lord, please let me make it home. It's like everything went back normal. 
and I be back down. All I know is I look up and I see my partner on the ground. Hmm. Oh, whoa, hold on, whoa. How? That means he came back. He came back in his body. He just saw his man's on the ground. Wait, what? Dang, that means, oh, what? You feel me? Shot up. So I'm like, he shot. He shot. Oh, I remember heck of people thought that he was talking about Vaughn when he was saying that in the video. So he was talking about his man. He wasn't even talking about Vaughn. So y'all got it all wrong. Y'all talking about something. Oh, he lying. Because he, um, how you going to say he ain't know it was King Vaughn? He was like, oh, yeah, he shot. He shot in the video. I wasn't even talking about him. He was talking about his own man. Like, I'm like, he shot, y'all. Like, I'm screaming out, my partner shot. Because mm -hmm. mind you, he got shot four times right. that exact night. And a couple months before that, like, with a couple incidents happening in my hometown, he been shot five times. Damn, they got shot nine times? God damn. Yeah, God must want this nigga living. God damn. Four, five, nine, nine times. Oh, my. Nine, nine, nine times. I don't know why, bro. I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't get my numbers right. Nine times, bro. How do you get, God damn. Like, this man not took numbers. nine bullets. Mm. Right. You feel me? Five times a couple months before the incidents, four times that night. And there were other shootings going on in that Man, there were so many people shooting, man. If you was there, you wouldn't even, if you was there, you would be hurt from everything that's going on because nobody really know. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I heard it like, when they were shooting, like, you know what I'm saying, the first shooting happened, whatever. Cops came and just started lighting that whole little alley up, like, just anybody moving was just getting shot it was just shooting everybody so yeah what he's saying is true you know what i'm saying all we know is that we're from what i'm saying what the what they let i'm saying come out whatever but, i mean i heard he was lighting that alley up like if he was to walk down that alley just unexpectedly or come out that club unexpectedly he probably would have got hit with a strike because they was just letting them fly you feel me i see my partner shot up like a lot of people saying that i was trying to take bro chain like now, this like being in Afghanistan and two soldiers shooting it out with two other soldiers and a bag of money in the middle of the ground. Now, you think people in the middle of a shootout, you think so many bullets flying, you think people think about that bag of money? And number one, what is he going to get out of, uh, what's the name, out of, what is he going to get out of, like, you know what I'm saying, taking dude chain anyway, like, I don't even know, like, I, like that's something to me, like, for somebody that's trying to come up, not somebody that's already, like, you know what I'm saying, there. Like, he already popping. So, what he need to be taking your chain for? Even if dummy, you know what I'm saying, they fighting or whatever, he take your chain and hop on the ground. In the video, you saw, you know what I'm saying, Quando got beat up. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Quando got hit with that, you know what I'm saying, got snuffed or whatever, and got beat. It's just what it is. Even though, to me, I don't care what nobody say. I think he got snuck to me. Because if he didn't know if it was smoke and you ran up on me and it just swung on me, and I fall and whatever, and they say, oh, yeah, I got beat, I don't take that as you beat me. Cause I ain't know it was smoke. Now, if I knew it was up and you did that, then yeah, that's different. Cause I should know off rip. If you see me the same way, if I see you, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. But if I ain't know it was smoke and you came up to me and just rocked me in my aim, and then you beat me, or whatever. I don't count it as you beat me for real. I just take that as, you know what I'm saying you just caught me lagging. It's just what it is. But at least let me know it's that. You know what I'm saying because from what it sounded like with Quando, he didn't even know it was that. Cause I think this was like I said before, it had been. A little bit more different. Quando would have been the attacker or would have been on the defense already, ready. You know what I'm saying? But okay, one in the area. Oh, I right, better say no more. But he ain't know it like that. You know what I'm saying? Let niggas walk past and randomly just snuff him in his face. He have an outer body experience. He come back. His man's shot now. You know what I'm saying? He he basically skipping through life at the moment. You know what I'm saying? He don't even know what's going on for real. So, I don't know. Well, I saw his manager try to say he didn't even think he had a chain on that night. Ma'am, I don't, ma'am. But he wasn't sure. But. I'm not even sure, ma'am. <laughs> but a chain, ma'am, that, that ma'am. Got a chain around his neck right now. I don't think you need his chain. When he comes to jury, ma'am, only, only people with bad intentions, who cloud chasing and stuff, looking to try to take a nigga chain. Yeah. Ma'am, a $50,000, $60,000 chain, ma'am, like, a nigga could go buy that. That's fifty, sixty thousand. Like that's not nothing. Plus, little Tim over here got shot. You're not thinking about taking his chain. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, a lot of people didn't know that Tim got shot too. Y'all was just, you know what I'm saying, street me King Vaughn because that's y'all favorite rapper. But yeah, Tim got shot too. You know what I'm saying, it wasn't just no one one side of the fair. You know what I'm saying, both sides. You know what I'm saying, they took losses or whatever. Kwando, it's just his people ain't died. You know what I'm saying, his people.
for real. You know what I'm saying? King Wall was the only person from his people that died that night. It was two, three other people that died that night. You know what I'm saying? From King Wall and Kent, for real. But everybody just focuses on King Von and Quando. Just looking at it. Oh, Quando, you. Oh, my God. You're, you're the reason King Von's dead. Y'all don't ever take it into consideration. If King Von would have never swung his fist, would have never ran up on Quando, he'd be still alive today. If he would have just kept a level minded head. Went on about his life, you know what I'm saying? She would have been cool for real. I walked up to him and had a grown man conversation and did whatever issue he had one sided, obviously, because Kwando didn't even know it was an issue. There would be no no none of this, you feel me? So I need to for real, you know what I'm saying, take accountability for him since y'all want to speak for him so much. Take accountability. If y'all would have kept his hands to himself, you'd still be here. That's what it is. I'm knowing his bad situation, he just got shot up. What if he died will? So I'm screaming out, he's shot, he's shot. You feel me? Like, um, man, like, I don't, um, I don't know where none of that came from. Right. I never, I never in life, ma'am. I never in life, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Never in life had words with them. Told you, yo, I mean, they didn't even know it was smoke. Like, that's why I don't really respect what happened, because, like, if you're going to snuff me, sneak me, whatever, at least let me know that it was smoke. Because if you snuff me, sneak me, and I knew we had problems, then at that point, I'm not mad about it. Because that's, that's what she's supposed to do. Because if I catch you and I got the upper hand, I'm going to I'm, I'm do what I got to do. You feel me? So, I respect that. But if y'all didn't even know it was smoke, how you going? I mean, I don't, I don't get that. Ever. And you, at this point, you didn't know who it was either. Ma'am, I didn't know this was him. Ma'am, I swear to <laughs> God, on my soul, ma'am. Like, like ma'am. This is on neighborhood crip now. I did not know that was him to the next day. Oh, it's definitely about to be a part three. Yo, that's one this is one crazy interview. This is this this should is like I'm saying it should have been happening for real, you feel me? This is wild. Like I said before, I really don't think Quando knew. I'm saying I really don't think he knew. Like it's just no way he knew. Cause if he knew like I said before, he knew it was smoking all that. It wouldn't. Have, you know what I'm saying, like I said, it'd been way different. I don't. I really don't think he knew. The, like, it was. You know what I'm saying who it was, or that it was smoke. Because if he knew it was smoke, I'm trying to tell you, bro. It would have been way different than what it was. But y'all, yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments for real. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, stay safe out here. Go check out the vlog. Like I said before, go check out that vlog. You feel me? The vlog is fine, man. Go check that out, man. We need a hundred on that ASAP. You feel me? Catch you on the next one. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on socials at BML Kobe. See you on the next one. Yeah. Bye, I'm going to float like a butterfly and mm -hmm. sing like a bee. <laughs> Man's got nothing on us. They stick man go like dust. Yeah. You and me think we are sus. Suck so smoke a devil trust. Mm -hmm. But they suck your bills dust. I make us cash plus. Thank you for being here.